Three days of intensive airstrikes and artillery bombings of the four strategic camps of the ADF rebels of Medina 1 and 2, among others, by the UPDF advancing troops in the eastern Kivu province of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Ugandan troops have encountered challenges of bad weather and broken road networks. UPDF spokesperson Operation Shuja against the Islamic State's financed Ugandan rebel based group, the ADF, in the Congo. Major Peter Mugisa says at a press briefing in Bundebucho that Operation Shuja will be halted for some time. From Mukanga up to River Semulik uh, is nine kilometers. So we expect that uh, uh, because uh, the, the road uh, from Mukanga uh, uh, forward uh, is really not good. It cannot uh, uh, allow the, the, our machines uh, to move. So we need to, to, to at least uh, halt a bit for a week. We bring in our, uh, our graders and uh, we try to, to, to open up the road so that uh, our heavy vehicles uh, can move forward. At the moment, UPDF troops have established a forward operating base at Mukakati as their launch pad for the offensive against the ADF. Otherwise, at the moment, uh, what I can tell you is that uh, the, the, the combined uh, wreck force has uh, also started moving uh, forward from Mukakati uh, towards uh, those uh, known uh, locations or camps of ADF. Despite UPDF troops' presence at 10 kilometers inside the DRC at Mukakati village from the Uganda DRC border point of Lamia, Major Mugisa says the security situation at Busunga is calm. Uh, which is ongoing at the moment uh, inside the Democratic Republic of Congo territory uh, in the North Kivu territory. Uh, so far, uh, UPDF has established its forward operating base at a, a place, uh, a village called Mukakati. Uh, that's where we have put uh, our forward operating base uh, as a launching pad uh, for an offensive against the uh, Allied Democratic uh, Forces, as you know, who have been terrorizing not only. Uh, uh, the territories in the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, but also Uganda, as you've heard uh, of recent, uh, where numerous bombings uh, have, uh, have happened uh, in Kampala and uh, other areas. Um, the, the security situation uh, from uh, all the way from uh, Busunga uh, border point up to Mukanga, where now the forces. Uh, have established is, uh, is really calm. According to intelligence information, other ADF strategic camps on the radar are located 19 kilometers away from Kakati. What we have gathered from our intelligence, uh, the ADF camps are in, uh, in uh, 19 kilometers from Mukanga village where we have established our forward operating base. However, Major Mugisa says the UPDF troops is up to the task to neutralize the ADF rebels. The force is ready to do all what it can to ensure that uh, we neutralize the ADF and uh, so that they, do, they don't continue on causing mayhem uh, to our people. The UPDF message to both the Congolese civilians and Ugandans is to remain calm. Uh, what we received yesterday from our uh, from our intelligence and uh, those collaborators, you see, we have some uh, some of those who surrendered uh, from uh, ADF. Uh, they are giving us uh, enough information, so they are telling us that uh, immediately after the air strike and the the, the, the artillery strike of two days back. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, though the, 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 the ADF got uh, a decisive uh, damage on, on their part, 
but uh, they have all disappeared from uh, those uh, uh, from those uh, camps. The, 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 the reception was really enormous and it was so welcoming. Uh, if I told you, you saw on all trading centers, on all uh, uh, village centers, uh, people were many, people were in a mass, and they were urging us to go ahead, we save uh, their, their lives. All are urging for peace. And they welcomed us and they said that uh, now we, we expect that uh, peace will really uh, uh, come.